What if I told you that you could become a Disney-level director, screenwriter, and casting director, all from your phone? No fancy equipment, no film school degree, just your imagination and a few taps. Sounds too good to be true? Well, stick around because I'm about to blow your mind with Flymo, and I got early beta access to show you exactly how this works. Let's dive in. So before we dive in, let me tell you what Flymo actually is. It's not just another AI video generator where you type a prompt and hope for the best. No, no, no. This is a full-blown 3D short video co-creation platform where you are in complete control. Think of it like this. You're not just making content, you're directing animated movies right from your iPhone. All right, let me show you my screen. I've got the Flymo iOS app open right here, and we're going to create our first 3D animated scene together, step by step. However, you will find all the links in the description. All right, first of all, we have to create an account. You can sign in with your Google or Apple account. Once you are logged in, you have to create a character first. So, enter the character name. For example, I am entering Maria. Now click here to save the character. On the next page, you have to design the character. First, we have to set the outfit of the character. You will find a vast number of tops, bottoms, one pieces, shoes, hats and glasses. Select perfect props according to your needs. After the outfit, set the face orientation. In the end, set the body type. Once everything is set, save the character by clicking here. OK, our character is ready, and we are in the main dashboard. At the top you can see the character we just created. At the bottom, you will find some animated videos that were created by other users. You can watch them and take inspiration. You can even see a preview story with your own character by clicking here. You can take a look at the sample story from here. To create a new story, you have to click on the plus button here. Before that, let's see the character preview. This is our character with a sample scene. Now you can rotate the character, see the 3D view. You can make the character walk, even use props from the scene. For example, when we go close to the chair, you can see the setting icon. If we click on that, the character will sit on the chair like that. You can make the character talk from here. You just have to enter the text here, and it will activate like a conversation. After previewing the character, if you find any issues, you can customize the character. You can change the look, outfit, face and body, everything. Once you find the final character, you can see how it looks in various scenes. To do that, click here and then select the scene you want to preview. Here you will find a bunch of options. Just select which one you want. OK? I think my character is perfect and I am ready to create my own animated series. So, I am clicking on the plus button from here. Now, we have to enter the story idea. Here, you will find some inspiration. You can take a look and generate an animated series with any of these ideas. If you want to create a new one, click here and then enter your story or idea. For example, I want to generate a new story, and I am typing, a new city resident get lost and asks a local for directions leading to a day of unexpected adventure. After entering the idea, hit the send button, and you can see the AI is now writing the detailed storyline. And here it is. The story is ready. Now, if you are not satisfied with the result, you can regenerate it or customize the script as per your needs. Once the final story idea is ready, click on the next button from here. On the next page, we have to set the number of episodes we want to create. At this moment, you can create 2 to 10 episodes. I am selecting 8. Next, we have the character. Now, you can disable the character from here. I will keep both the characters. On the next page, we have to select the characters. Flimo automatically selects the character from the public library. However, we can change them. For the female character, I will select my own character. And for the male character, I will select one from the public library. You will find a bunch of characters. Select which one you want to use. Once done, click on the next button. On the next step, we have to select a scene. There are several scenes available here. You can choose any one from here. Select which one is perfect for your story. After selecting the scene, click on slide to shoot from here. OK, this is the director's page. The upper screen is to check the default camera. The lower screen is to move and give commands. Now you can move the character, set the camera, switch the camera, and more. Here, you have to enter the instructions about the scene. You can mention the character and their deeds. If you are not sure what to do, you can take the help of AI. 
you can see that the AI just provides us with perfect instructions. Now just click on the action button. Now the AI will generate the scene. And here it is. The scene is ready. And you can see the result. That can't be the right street. Hi, of course. Where are you trying to get to? Just show me the address, I might know a shortcut. This is perfect. Now we have to record the scene. To do that, click on the record button here. Our scene is being recorded. You can see that the camera work, dialogue, and character movement are seamless. Once the recording is completed, you can go next and publish the episode. However, if you think you need to fine-tune the episode, then come to the instruction option again and then click on view more. Here you will find the detailed scene breakdown, motion, facial expression, and dialogue. Edit details for refinement. Once you are done, you will find the video clips in the video editor. Now you can edit the video. It's like a professional video editor. Once you are done, click on the next button. Now, you can set the episode 1 name and cover. Once done, you can publish the video. And here it is, the video is now published. Just show me the address, I might know a shortcut. Want some company on the way? <sighs> there is another very important feature we need to talk about. The relay. This is to create the next episode of your series. You just have to select the characters and set, and then generate the video. You can also collaborate with other creators. For example, I want to create a new episode and collaborate with this series. To do that, simply click on the relay button from here. Once you click on the button, your interface will be like this. Now you can see the characters based on the story. You just have to select the characters and then the set. Once done, click here. And now we are on the video creation interface. You just have to enter the scene instruction and then generate the scene. Once done, record the video using the recorder. Once done, just publish the video. And here it is. The video is now live. A steamed cabinet. From today we'll implement weekly festivals, abolish curfews, and double travel funds. Let's bring true excitement to Inazuma. Wait, maybe we should slow down with these changes. Has now, in the same method, you can create other episodes and create your full mini-series. It's like an OTT where you are the director. Alright, so here's the deal. Flymo is currently in invite-only beta testing, and spots are limited. But I've got great news for you. You can join the beta by heading to their Discord community. I'm going to put the link in the description below. You can also check out their official website at feeling.ai.com to learn more about the platform and the vision behind it. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on this. This is genuinely next-generation content creation, and being part of the beta means you get to shape the future of the platform. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and drop a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Now go create something amazing.